hey, guess what? My first ever merch drop is here. If you're interested, click the link below to pre-order now. What's up, Anirotax? Welcome to Minecraft Makeover, a brand new series where I give your builds a makeover. Honestly, this is kind of just an excuse for me to try decorating with CIT texture packs because they're super cool and I don't know why I haven't used them yet. But this is also a really fun way to involve the community. If you want to see me decorate your build next, you can find all the information needed in my Discord. Also, for those of you thinking, I'm a a Minecraft makeover. Didn't Scott do that? Well, yes. Yes, he did. But I received his blessing to use the same name, so we're good. Okay, so we spawned in a flat world, and our first build submission is from Cookie. Before we start building or decorating or changing anything, we're gonna tour the build in its original form. So no texture packs, no nothing, just shaders and vanilla textures. After we tour the build, though, then I'm gonna layer on a bunch of texture packs and CIT packs so we can renovate and decorate. Okay, are you ready to see the first build submission? I'm so excited. Da, 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 da. <gasps> this is cute. Oh my God, look at the lanterns. Wait, this is adorable. Oh, the waterfall with the lily pads. Oh, we're doing a fly around. Look at this build. Oh, I can do so much with this. This is so cute. The stairs leading up, the deck. Oh, this is amazing. This is giving me so many fun ideas. But okay, let's start from the front and go on a proper tour. So it looks like we have this really adorable lantern filled garden area. One of these little like garden covers. What is that called? Like a gazebo or something? I can't think of it right now, but you know, like those outdoor garden things. Oh, I want to fill this area up with plants so bad. The waterfall is amazing. I love love the stairs leading up to this front deck. It is so cool. Does this go around all the way? Oh, it goes around to the sides. Ooh, I wonder if we can make the porch wrap around. Oh, I just noticed the little flower window baskets. And those are my favorite Minecraft flowers. I love all the hanging lanterns hanging off of the house. Even the little shutters. This is a great build. I already know it. You guys are gonna give me so much build inspiration from this series. I love this build the way it is, but I'm also really excited to see what I could do with it. But now, let's go on the inside. Is it decorated? Or is it not decorated? That is the question. <laughs> Let's see. <gasps> it's decorated. Oh my gosh. The I love when people do this using the coral, like the dead coral as a carpet. Adorable. Okay, let's see. So we have a front entrance area. We've got some plants. We have the cute carpet, a bookshelf area. We've got some flowers and flower pots. <gasps> We've got some shelves over here. Oh, a baby kitchen. Did they put a campfire under here? <gasps> Clever. Oh, I love that. Oh, this is smart for the island. <gasps> they used a crafting table in it and then they covered it with the trap doors. Oh, that is cool. Over to the right, we have a little closet area. Or not really a closet, but like, you know, an armor spot. Are there any secrets under the stairs? No. <laughs> All right, what's upstairs? We've got some more plants, another fuzzy carpet, some more lanterns. This is our bedroom. This is cute. Oh, this is like a little lounge area with the TV, right? This isn't a desk, right? This is totally a living room. Or wait, yeah, no, this is a living room because look, this is a desk. I love that you use the painting as a computer screen. And I love the leaves up here on top of the wood, like a room divider. All right, well, this build is pretty awesome. But now let's layer on some texture packs to see what I can do with it. Are you ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Ta-da! The texture pack has been applied. Guys, I don't think you understand how excited I am to use CIT texture packs for the first time because like, can I just show you something real quick? For those of you that don't know, CIT texture packs are not mods. They're literally texture packs where you rename objects in Minecraft and they turn into different items. It's amazing. It's like a built-in furniture mod, but it's not a mod. It's just vanilla. If I put this anvil down and I change the name from white wool to white wool zero A, all I have to do is place an invisible item frame and it turns into a sheep plushie. Are you kidding me? Do your eyes see this? It's amazing. And there's so many more decorations it's like the coolest thing ever. I'm so excited to start decorating.
Okay, so here's what I did to the outside of the house. As you can see, it looks a little bit different, but it's still pretty much the same. I really like the style of the original house, so I try my best to keep the same vibe. The first thing you'll notice is I obviously did some very light terraforming and I planted a bunch of trees and flowers and stuff just to kind of make the area feel a little bit more alive. I detailed this garden spot by replacing all of the wooden logs with gates and fences instead, just because I think it looks a little bit more elegant. The stairs leading up to the house are the exact same, but I did extend them a little bit and add some pressure plates to look like stepping stones. Now I think the most noticeable change to the outside of the house itself is the roof. I really played around with the front of the house to kind of make it look a little bit more interesting and I raised the roof up, like literally I, I cut the roof off and I lifted it up because originally these windows were one by two and I wanted them to be a little bit bigger. So besides the rework to the front of the house, I brought the same kind of thing over to the back side, but this time I added a little back porch. We still have the same larger window on top back here as we do in the front as you can see over there. But now on the back side of the upstairs, we have a cute balcony porch area and oh, also, I extended the whole porch around the house. Originally you couldn't walk to the back, but now it goes all the way around and we have some stairs leading down. Besides the roof, I would say the other major change was the color palette. So yeah, I basically kept everything in its original location. The windows are still in the same spot. I didn't touch any of the flower boxes. The door is still in the same spot and I even kept the idea of having shutters on all the windows, except instead of having them against the wall, I have them sticking out to add a little bit more detail. Oh, and also I did this little thing over in the front with some cauldrons and leaves just to kind and make them look like fancy bushes. I don't know if they look fancy, but I thought it was a cool idea. Now that the exterior of this house is done though, let's work on the interior. I already organized chests full of decorations for each room of the house. There's a bunch of plants in this chest. There's a bunch of kitchen stuff in this chest. And over here we have stuff for the bedroom, living room, and office area. Now, if we take a look inside real quick, I don't want to change the house too much. Like, I like the layout of this house, so I think I'm going to keep the layout, but just spruce it up up with some really cool decor. All right, let's grab all this kitchen stuff and start with the downstairs part of the house. Now the first thing I wanna do is definitely remodel the kitchen. So let's get rid of the barrels and we'll just get rid of all of this stuff actually. And then we can add a fridge, we can add a stove, and we can add some countertops. Now if we add some more item frames up top, we can add some cabinets. Now let's see, if I put an item frame on top, can I put the toaster here? <gasps> oh, that's so cool. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. So that way we can add a small table with some chairs. Now I did get a couple of different food items to display. I can't figure out how to put stuff on this table though. I'm not sure if I can because I want to put stuff on the table. We're not using a table. We're using an upside down stair. <laughs> and now I should be able to put a bowl down. <gasps> That's so cute. Okay, and then over here, I should be able to put down a pie. Oh, because there's some shelves over here, let's replace those with some different ones. Oh wait, that's too low. Never mind. Wait, wait, wait. So here's one. This one has plates and stuff on it. And this one has little jars. Oh, wow. How is this just a texture pack? Uh, okay, I kind of just realized that I didn't add a sink. I have this faucet though, and I don't know where to put it. I mean, we could just put it there, even though it's not really a sink, but I still wanted to place the pie, so uh, um, yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. That's a questionable decision. Don't judge my pie sink. Wait, 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 look, 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 look. Look at this. It's animated with a little bee. Is that not like the cutest thing? Speaking of cute, we're getting rid of these plants and replacing them with the succulents. Look at this. Instead of these plants, we can have this potted one. And look at this. Look at this plant stand. Oh, it's backwards. Hold on. Look at that. I want this in real life. That is a beautiful plant stand. Now over here, I want to get rid of this light for now. And look at this. It's a railing. Look how cool that is. Also, I found this pretty cool looking closet thing. Why is there a bucket back there? <gasps> no way. <gasps> There's a hidden pea pot in this build. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. If you watch my streams on Twitch, uh, you understand what that is. Oh my God. <laughs> Was that supposed to be the bathroom? 
Was that the secret bathroom under the stair? Oh my god. You guys are hilarious. I'm putting that back. This is gonna live here in the corner. That's the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. But as I was saying, I found this cool like closet thing and I feel like it would be perfect for this corner. That is so cool. Can these plants go inside? <gasps> no way. I want to see if we can put a chest in here. <gasps> Stop it. Okay, well now that this bottom floor is done, let's go upstairs. Do you guys want to see something really cool that I found? So you know how when you place window panes, the glass goes in the middle of the block and you can't Put anything here? <laughs> well, if you put an item frame on a glass pane, look at this. There's a plant that fits right in that spot. Isn't that so cool? I don't. Ugh, that, that makes me very happy. I want to put them everywhere. Okay, enough with the plants. Actually, no, not enough with the plants. I take that back. I want more of those plant stands. I wonder if there's anything I could put in the middle here. Maybe we should just put a chest there. That helps fill out the space a bit. Oh my god, I totally forgot about this item. Wait a minute, where can I put this? Wait, we could put it right here. That's amazing. I mean, I guess since we're already over here, we could just do this office area first. So let's go ahead and replace that chair. And I kind of like the idea of this being like an artsy kind of studio office space. So of course we're gonna add a laptop on the desk, but next to it, we can add a paint set. And then we obviously need an easel. Okay, now maybe we can add a drink on the table and we can add a cute backpack. Then maybe we can add another one of these plants. And I think the office area is done. Let's work on this living space. Okay, so before there was a TV here, let's see if this fits. Now, instead of the couch that was here before, let's move it back here and we can have a cute couch like this instead. That is so cute, stop. <gasps> Wait. <laughs> You know what we could put next to the TV? I know it's kind of a weird spot, but hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's make a fake shelf. We have a hamster cage. And look, he's actually using his little wheel. Oh my god, wait, his legs are moving too. <gasps> Stop the detail. We need something else next to this. I know. Another plant. Okay, but kind of cute though. Look at this setup. But now it's time to do some decorating in this bedroom area. Now I have two beds to pick from. I'm not sure if the canopy suits this build so let's just do the normal bed okay now let's get rid of these plants and instead we'll have some cute succulents i wonder what these drawers look like <gasps> oh wait i like these this is good and then obviously <clears throat> a sheep plushie ah! and then look at this that i found we can have some moon string lights Oh, oh, and then look at this. It's a moon phase banner. But wait, you know what? This might actually look better over here. Yep, that's actually a lot better in here. Okay, well, I think I finished decorating. So now let's go on a tour. So as you already know, this is the outside of the house. And now when we go inside, this is the front little entrance that you see. We've added um, <clears throat> a lot of plants, basically. But there's some bookshelves here, plants over here. Here is our newly remodeled kitchen area. Over here, we have a cute little just like hall storage area, I guess, with uh, a bathroom. <laughs> then as we go upstairs, we have uh, another plant area. Over here, we have a cute little loungy living space with a couch, the boho pillow, the record player. We got hamsters. This is our little back porch area. Very cute. Obviously, we have this cute bedroom. And then to the right of the bedroom, we have this cute artsy office space. This area is cool. I love the easel. I love the paint set. I love the laptop. Now that we've toured everything, let's do a quick before and after. Okay, so here's the original build and here's the makeover. I don't know about you guys, but I'd say I did a pretty good job for my first time doing a Minecraft makeover. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what your favorite part about this build was. If you're excited to see more of these Minecraft makeover videos, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye!